living and i would ask god like why what am i here for like what why 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 am i alive like what are, what are, what are we doing together and stuff like that Hey everybody, welcome back to the Loxy Files. Hope you guys are doing great and that you are having an amazing month of November. It's I can't believe like it's almost the end of November because it pretty much means that 2019 is over and this year has gone by super, super quick, quickly. And I'm just so grateful just for this year that God has been coming through for me. God has God has opened doors for me that I never thought could be opened and he has made way for me like in the wilderness where there seemed to be no way and yeah I give him the glory and the honor he is he is a good God but with that said it, it's really been on my heart and my mind um, today just to encourage somebody who may be still trusting for something this year um i know that it's november it's almost the end of the year and maybe you've been hoping or trusting for a job or to get accepted into a specific degree or maybe to finish your degree or um some people are hoping that they would have gotten into a relationship or even I don't know like there's so many things so many hopes so many dreams so many desires inside the hearts of everyone and i i really felt like i should come here and just be like the year is not over and your race is not over i remember at the end of last year i felt so what is the word i was so drained and so tired and i felt just like I didn't have a future and I remember throughout the month of December I, I just kept contemplating like the point of being alive and um, just what's the point of living and I would ask God like why what am I here for like what why 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 am I alive like what are, what are, what are we doing together and stuff like that and it wasn't easy it was quite difficult like i would have days where i would sit and be like oh i wonder if i cross the street today and i get hit by a bus like would i die <laughs> stuff like that i know it sounds dark and twisted but that is the reality of the situation i was in i didn't have purpose i didn't have any hope for the future i just was like you know what i'm done like i'm over this like nothing is working out for me and i'm just like i'm over it i'm over it and I think did turn around because well this year has been an amazing year and stuff but that's where I was at the end of last year and I wouldn't want anyone to be in that situation because I know what it's like to be there to feel like nothing is ever gonna work out for you to feel like everything is just hopeless and nothing seems to be coming together every time you try to do something to advance yourself or become better or um, find new opportunities and open doors and everything like that it seems like every door is being shut in front of your face every opportunity you're being told no and nothing seems to be working out and you're just like god where are you this is not the life that you promised me this is not the life that is in your word and it's 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 a difficult place to be a difficult um situation to be in and i totally get it because i feel like there are people who are there right now who are just like god but where are you what are you doing like why aren't you coming through for me i've had faith i've been praying i have been attending church i've been serving you i've been faithful to you but where are you right now why are you not coming through for me what am i doing wrong then why am I even here? What, what, what am I supposed to do? I cannot answer as to why God may seem like he's silent. I cannot answer as to why God may not be answering your prayer right at this moment or um, why you have not seen the answer yet. What I can answer to is that God is still alive and God is still sitting on his throne. God still loves you and God still has a plan and a purpose for your life, a plan to give you a hope and a future. 
and i don't want you to lose heart because it's the end of 2019 you thought like this is going to be an amazing year like we've all seen that meme i'll insert it somewhere where it says pastor you told me that this is my year of blessing and the pastor's like no i said tell your neighbor and it's, it's a funny meme but then that's a lot of people's situation where they're like this was supposed to be my year this was supposed to be my year of blessing my year of favor and whatnot and i haven't seen that and there are years and seasons of your life where you will go and it will seem like you are not seeing the goodness of god you're not seeing god's favor or god's hand over your life but that does not just because you don't see it doesn't mean that it's not there like that god is not at work in your life i don't want a thing of people losing heart and losing hope in god when things aren't the way that they should be and stuff like that and yeah i just i really want people to to find peace again i really want people to have joy again and to to know that even when things aren't great that god is still in control that god is still loving and he's caring and he's kind and he is faithful and he is good um yeah i don't know there's not much that i want to say i just wanted to remind you of that that god is alive that god is good that god is gracious that he is merciful that he is he is at work in your life and he is working things out for you all things work together for the good for those who love god and are called according to his purpose like everything may seem a mess now but you don't know what tomorrow holds tomorrow could be the day that your breakthrough comes tomorrow may be the day that everything is just gonna turn around and it's gonna be a whole other amazing situation maybe tomorrow is the day that your prayer is gonna be answered i i don't know you don't know but only god knows i don't want you to to be in a place where you lose faith and you lose hope and you lose your purpose because i know what it's like living life without purpose it's painful it's difficult and you seem like you're just wandering through life you just take life whatever comes your way you take it and then you end up settling for less than you deserve you let you end up settling for um things that are just not that that you're worth more for what you end up settling for things that you are too good for yeah 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 i think that's 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 what i want to say but yeah, I, I, I really want to just encourage someone like don't give up, don't lose faith. I know in the last videos I'll, I've been talking about faith and I, I want you to keep holding on to the faith, keep holding on to hope, keep praying, keep fasting, keep doing whatever you are doing and just trust that God is still alive and God is still working. He is still working. I know for a fact that he is still working. But you gotta be persistent with your faith and be stubborn with your faith and be like god i'm not gonna give up until you give me this thing if you have to pray scripture over it if you're trusting god for healing for example then declare verses and scriptures about healing if you're trusting god for financial breakthrough then declare that declare um, verses and scriptures that talk about finances and god's blessing if you are trusting for a job same thing about find scriptures about open doors and opportunities and whatnot there's scriptures in the bible for every single thing that pertains to our lives call up call up what did i just say every single thing that pertains to our lives our lives our 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 lives our lives our lives our lives let's finish the year strong don't don't give up now because it just seems like you're fighting a fight a losing battle the battle's not over yeah it's 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 not over don't lose hope don't lose heart don't lose faith in god like god is still working god is still alive god is still sitting on his throne god still loves you unconditionally and there is nothing that could ever separate you from his love nothing on earth nothing in heaven nothing um, anything nothing nothing can separate you from his love and 
because he may be silent because it may seem like he's not working doesn't mean that he isn't just because you haven't seen the breakthrough just because you haven't seen the answer yet doesn't mean that it's not coming doesn't mean that it's not on its way just because you've been praying and it seems like he's silent doesn't mean that he's not listening just because you are tired it doesn't mean that your race is over and I don't want to tell you like yeah keep praying and keep whatevering and whatnot because I know that's not something that people always want to hear but I've gotten to a point in time in life where I'm just like I need to be real with God and when I face situations and difficulties, that's what I do now. I am as real with God as I would be with one of my friends. And I'm straight up with him. I'm just like, you know what, God? I don't like this. I'm tired of this. I'm, I'm tired of this thing and whatnot. Not. I've been praying. I've been fighting. I've been striving, God. And I am tired. I need rest. I need peace. I need you to come through for me. I need you to give me joy again. I need fulfillment. I need purpose. I need something to just keep me going. In those moments when I'm not just praying for whatever is like on my prayer list or whatever, that's when God usually comes through the most and he gives me that peace or gives me that rest. So my prayer for you is that you find that peace and that rest and that reassurance that God is in control, that he's still at work and that he's gonna do exceedingly and abundantly above what you are asking him for. The year is not over. Your blessing is not has not detoured or has not gone to someone else. It's coming, what's for you is for you. And yeah, just don't give up. Don't give up. Um, I know life gets hard, I have seen hard sides of life, but don't, don't ever give up. Be sure to like this video. If you know anybody who needs this video, be sure to share it with them. And I think that's all I have for you guys today. I will see you guys in my next video.